Sao Shang Hao, good morning to you all. I am Keith Newton, the International Secretary General of the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport. It's a pleasure to speak to you all attending the 8th China International Logistics Development Conference in Baoding, in the Hebei province. I'm sorry that we cannot be together again this year, but I can be with you virtually, and I hope to see you all next year in 2022. Today, I'm going to introduce you just briefly to the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport and to myself and speak to you about the wider issues of the supply chain today. The theme of this conference is contributing to double circulation and sharing new development. The global supply chain is under strain and facing many challenges and many new developments. And here at this conference, we will share many ideas and ways to and many ways to cooperate and respond. To help to contribute to that, I would like to talk to you this morning about some of the impacts on the supply chain and how we can together respond. In China, I know you are contributing to new solutions, especially in the key areas of digitalization and sustainability. Our people are also key in helping achieve new ways of working. And I know that in CRT China, you're very focused on the training and skills for the people who work in logistics. Let me first introduce CILT. We were founded in 1919 in the UK and now operate in uh, many countries across the world with more than 35,000 active individual members. We are the leading professional body in the world covering logistics, transport and supply chain management. And we cover professional development, training, qualification, consultancy, policy, and many other areas in the industry. I have been the Secretary General since 2012 and have been a member for the last 38 years. My background is in uh, operational supply chain um, management. And I've been, I've got uh, 30 years experience in the food manufacturing sector and in the supply chain, running factories and distribution centers and being involved in international projects across many parts of Europe, North America, Africa and Asia. The old order in the supply chain is changing and I want to talk to you about that this morning and demonstrate the areas of change that we've seen in the last 18 months, particularly in logistics and supply chain. Established global trade patterns have been disrupt disrupted by closed trade agreements, um, health barriers and new health protocols. There's been huge disruption in manufacturing and shipping due to restrictions in movement driven by the pandemic in 2020 and 2021. Global economies now are experiencing huge fluctuations with contractions followed by growth. And an example of this is in August 2021, China exports were up year on year by 27%. The stable, low-cost supply chain of the last decade has gone with higher shipping costs, even as much as increases of over a thousand percent. And the ball whip effects are creating shortages of equipment and component components and problems in the supply chain. Now, supply chains are fragile and exposed to the high risk of failure. And we've got other factors that we didn't experience 18 months ago. A huge increase in e-commerce. Home delivery in the European markets are up by over 35% year on year. All these factors are creating stress and interruptions to a supply chain that previously was working well. And it's important that we now understand risk and resilience 
so that we can return to stable supply chains in the future. New solutions are now needed and we need to create resilience in every part of the supply chain again. That includes looking at flexible and alternative supply source sources, being prepared to multiple source both products and components instead of single sourcing. Risks need to be clearly identified and risk management needs to be part of supply chain design and reviewed regularly. We need to consider alternative modes of transport internationally and nationally, and they need to be opened up. And a great example of this is to look further at rail as an alternative to road and sea as rail is both sustainable and cost effective. In the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport, we have been focusing on two areas, sustainability and digitalization. And we've had two key campaigns to inform and equip our members across the world. In March, we started a focus on sustainability in the supply chain. And then in September, we turn that towards digitalization. We have many articles, webinars, and discussions on our website on both subjects and have featured speakers throughout the world. At this conference, three speakers will be speaking this afternoon at the different forums. Mr. Kamjit Singh from CRT Singapore at the Belt and In Interconnectivity Forum. Mr. John Harris from CRT in the UK at the Green and Sustainable Development and of Logistics Industry Forum. And Mr. Finbar Cleary from CRT in Ireland at the Modern Express and Logistics Forum. Just a short introduction to the sustainability focus area. There we've sought to share solutions and we've we continue to seek to influence governments and businesses on this key topic for the next, certainly the next 10 years and beyond. And we seek to help our professionals across the world act in, sustain in sustainable ways. This is very much in line with your objectives at this eight China International Logistics De Development Conference here in Baoding. We want to help you promote the exchange and sharing of resources in the global logistics industry and strengthen the building of the new global supply chain system. CILT has published many guidance documents across the world and we wish to share those with delegates at this conference. As we learn, we practice. As we practice, we share our, our experiences. And as we share our experiences, we learn together. The problem of the environment and global warming is a global problem that all professionals in every country need to engage with and share understanding of. The second area I'm going to shortly focus on um, is digitalization. We've just started our second campaign this year on that subject. There are many new technologies that can be used in the supply chain. How to use them effectively and efficiently and use them beneficially is the questions we are asking. Again, we need to seek to learn about these technologies, put that learning into practice in different logistics settings, and then share our experiences of implementation. In all this, people and skills are key. As professionals, we need to acquire new skills and new understandings and help the people who work for us to do the same. Our people are our strength in logistics and we rely on new skills being available to help us take on new technologies and new practices. Our people are something we call in the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport, T-shaped professionals. That is wide in their knowledge and experience 
and deep in their skills. This diagram explains that a bit further. So as professionals, we need to develop into those who can have a broad view across situations and across countries and across sectors in the industry. And those who also have a deep knowledge and a deep a depth of skills and experience. And that really is how we should all focus as professionals as we go through our working life and our careers in our sector. The world is changing dramatically and has changed dramatically even since we met this time last year. The importance of developing our understanding and sharing our understanding is one that we are tackling within the Institute and you are tackling in this conference today. We need to prepare ourselves for tomorrow. Our training helps us to make a difference. And we as professionals need to be part of that sustainable future. As we help create those new sustainable futures, we need to equip the people who work for us and we need to continue to learn from each other. In the conference today, I am sure we will do much of that. And it's very exciting to be part of another conference and another step forward in our industry in China and in the world. Thank you, Xie Xie Ni. And it's been my pleasure to join you once again at this eighth China International Logistics Development Conference.